Hello Cancer, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We do have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment, and then we also have engagement with very soon. I like this overall energy because this is like the epitome of making room for things that essentially serve your highest good. So this could very well be you, Cancer, removing things that don't necessarily serve your highest good and making room for the things that actually do. Of course, this could very well be somebody that you currently find yourself connecting with. But yeah, let's get into your reading, Cancer. We're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Cancer currently view this relationship? All right, let's see. We have the Death card. Scorpio energy. And then we have Judgment, more Scorpio energy, with the Queen of Swords, Libra energy. The bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, interesting, with the King of Swords. But then we have a Knight of Cups with a King of Cups. I want to look at this King of Cups, man. I really do want to look at this King of Cups here. Whoever this King of Cups is, this is somebody who's clearly gravitating towards you, shedding light on this King of Swords of yours. And whatever it is that they're telling you, Cancer, like I said, they are coming in with truth. They are shedding light on this King of Swords of yours. And it is kind of causing you to remove yourself from this person in particular. So let's look at this King of Cups because this King of Cups plays a big role in this decision that you're making. I, again, I feel like this King of Cups, whether this be a friend, family member, or somebody who knows them personally, this King of Swords of yours personally, um, they're, they're highlighting something for you, whatever it is. And I wanna see what that is because of this King of Cups, you're choosing to leave this King of Swords behind. So let's see what this King of Cups is telling you. Well, let's start there. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Ooh. This doesn't look good, Cancer. We have the Three of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles, and then we have the Seven of Swords. The bottom of the deck, oh, we have the Five of Cups with the Four of Wands to the Moon, and then we have the Queen of Cups. Now keep in mind, I don't feel like you and this King of Cups are even romantically involved with one another. I just kind of feel like this King of Cups sees that you're a genuine and sincere, good-hearted person, and they don't want to see you get hurt, okay? So then there's that. But we have a Queen of Cups to the Moon, to the Four of Wands, and then we have the Five of Cups. I feel like this is like the King of Cups energy. They've been definitely thinking about you quite a bit. Um, and with that being said, I kind of feel like they've been biting down on their tongue on something that they've been wanting to tell you in regards to this King of Swords of yours. Now keep in mind, this King of Cups could be a family member, it could even be a friend of yours, or it could be somebody that... Um, it could be someone that they know personally, okay? This, this King of Swords personally. But like I said, overall, right? They've just been biting down on their tongue for quite some time. And it's starting to really eat at this King of Cups, okay? It really, really is. This King of Cups feels bad for you. They feel bad for you. Again, because they look at you as somebody who has a big heart, somebody who means well. And they know that this King of Swords that you're involved with doesn't necessarily have your best interests at heart. Which is kind of making me feel like this King of Cups knows your King of Swords, to be completely honest. Because this King of Cups comes off to me as somebody who knows a little bit too much about this King of Swords. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does, right? But then we have the Seven of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. And then we got the Nine of Pentacles. Let's say for perfect example, Cancer, you and this King of Swords are in a committed relationship with one another. This is somebody who's not being faithful to you. Like, this is somebody who's still out there living their life as if they're single. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. But like I said, this King of Cups has just been, again, 
dwelling on this whole entire situation and feeling extremely bad for you that you're involved with someone like this. Let's go. Let, let's see. Um, like I said, I, I if I'm if I'm being completely honest, I understand that the two of you showed up as a true pair. I just kind of feel like this person looks at you as somebody who has a big heart, right? Um, somebody who clearly loves hard, and and they don't want to see you get hurt. And like I said, this is somebody who feels bad for you. I don't feel like these two are even romantically involved with one another. I don't. I'm really not getting that. Nor do I feel like this King of Cups is interested in you. I don't. So then there's that. So then there's that. Um. Okay. Okay. How does? How does this person currently view this relationship? Great. Let me grab the card that fell. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles. And then we also have the queen of wands. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the eight of wands. And then we also have the moon with the page of swords. Like I said, this king of cups is basically breaking their silence and delivering you nothing but the truth okay now you know what's interesting is that once you receive this communication from this king of cups i don't see you making any sort of impulsive decisions i don't see you in a rush to make any sort of decision i kind of feel like you're sitting back receiving this communication and trying to figure out how you honestly want to approach this whole entire situation here you're being very calm cool and collected that's one thing that i will say but right now, if it's one thing that I will say, if you haven't received this communication just yet from this King of Cups, once you do, I don't see you rushing in and telling this King of Swords, it's over, I don't want anything to do with you. No, I don't see you doing that. I see you sitting back, thinking long and hard about what you want to do and how you plan on moving forward. You're just sitting with this information. You're letting it simmer. You know what I mean? You're just letting it all simmer. Where is your King of Swords at? Where, 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 where did the King of Swords go? Okay. I want to look at this. I almost called them a fool. Whoa. I almost called them a fool. I'm not saying that they're a fool. I'm not saying that. But that wanted to come out for whatever odd reason. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Strongly. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Because the fool in tarot is Aquarian energy. Nor am I calling Aquarians fools. Okay? Like, I don't like where this is going. But anyways. You know what's interesting is that. I don't feel like this King of Swords knows this truth that's being delivered to you because like i said it's like you're you're in a lot of feminine energy right now and what feminine energies do is they sit back and they receive right you're receiving all of this information and you're just sitting with it like okay what am i going to do with this info you know am i am i going to just confront them on this or should i just play it cool what the fuck should i do you know that's the overall energy you're sitting in let's look at this king of swords tell me more about the king of swords Wait. Ugh. All right, let me grab the card that fell again. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. Mm. We got a page of pentacles with the lovers. And then we also have the ten of swords. The page to the lovers, again, that's that double confirmation, Cancer, um, that whoever it is that you currently find yourself involved with, this is clearly somebody who's entertaining somebody here. You know what's interesting, though, about this King of Swords is that they don't really have any sort of interest of going off and running into the sunset with this person. They don't. Like, they really, really don't. But wrong is wrong, right? Wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. But again, this King of Cups knows that this is what they're, they're up to and this is what they're doing. And that's why they're telling you. You know, because they look at you as like, damn, like cancer is like a, a really good person. Like, you know, why the fuck would this person do that to them? You know, so then there's that, you know, I'm starting to kind of feel like this king of cups is either friends with this king of swords or is like a family member or like a coworker. 
all right because this king of cups knows a little bit too much about this king of swords it's, it's causing me to kind of feel like this king of cups knows this person personally so co well, if i could talk co-worker um family member friend whatever have you but they know this king of cups knows that this one here is not being faithful let's say that because again it's like it's interesting because they showed up as a nine of pentacles to the three of pentacles remember we did get that um to the seven of swords this is somebody who is kind of out here portraying themselves as somebody who's single somebody who's not attached to anyone and we can't quite say that because we got a true pair out here i want to see what your relationship is with this king of swords can we do that let's do that real quick what is cancer's relationship to this king of swords As far as like your relationship with this person is concerned, it is kind of looking like a love interest of yours. Now, you know what's interesting about this King of Swords? And bear with me because they're giving me a little bit of a migraine right now and a half. This is somebody who clearly wants to go off and establish and build a life with you. And I genuinely feel like they mean that. But, but, because there's a but to all of this. Don't get me wrong, I feel like they do genuinely want to build with you, but I also kind of feel like, you know, there's other things that capture this person's attention. Can we say that? Even though they don't necessarily have any sort of intentions of like running off into the sunset with these people and or person, it's still wrong, right? It's still wrong. But this is kind of like, again, more of that um, overall energy that you're currently sitting in once you receive this communication because the page of wands is somebody who's on the receiving end of some sort of communication it's it it's gonna throw you the fuck off it's gonna throw you the fuck off and on top of that this is like an overall energy of trying to, your hardest to remain grounded and not lash out and not attack this person in particular so okay Somebody that you're romantically involved with. Got it. How does cancer feel? Yeah, you're disappointed. You're disappointed. You're, you're disappointed. You know what's interesting too, Cancer? And this is that double confirmation right there. This King of Cups knows this King of Swords personally. They could be friends. They could be co-workers. They could even be family members. But... Right now you're struggling because it's like, okay, well, what do I do with this information? Like, I can't say that this information came from the King of Cups because then that's going to create drama and chaos between them, you know? So then there's that. You're just sitting with this shit, to be honest. And it hurts. It hurts. You're very disappointed. <clears throat> How does this... We have the Hermit. We have the five of pentacles and then we have the death card this is your 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 your, your energy is coming in pretty strong cancer i'm like where did all these other people go you know what i mean this is kind of making me feel like um when this communication does come in cancer you're going to distance yourself not only from this king of cups but also this king of swords of yours Okay, right now you're not making any sort of impulsive decisions and I understand where you're coming from because in order to confront this king of swords of yours, you, you kind of have to tell them where the info came from in the first place, but you don't want to do that because if you do, I think that you're afraid that it's going to create a lot of drama and tension between these two people. All right, so... I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to look for the King of Swords and the King of Cups again because I want to I wanna kind of focus more so on their relationship because these people are so at a distance from you that it's making me feel like you're not really talking to the King of Cups like that, nor are you really talking to the King of Swords like that. Um, so I just want to, I want to see like how this, this, this King of Swords and this King of Cups is like reacting to all of this. Um, I kind of feel like this King of Cups is uh, for the most part telling you cancer like what's really going on behind the scenes but they don't want you to tell them that it came from them 
because that's kind of how I'm starting to feel right now. Hence why you're just kind of sitting with this info, not entirely sure what the fuck to do with it. Um, so then there's that. Let me pause the video and I'll come right back. Okay, so we're back. We have the king and the, oh, well, we have the king of cups and the king of swords out here. So let's get into that. Let's do that. I don't know if I um, touched up on this, but we do have the death card. We also have the five pentacles to the hermit. This is your energy. This is totally your energy. You're, again, retracting your energy, retreating, definitely distancing yourself, not really talking to these people to really figure out what your next move is going to be. So then there's that. I can tell you don't want this relationship to come to an end, but it's like you're you're fucking disappointed um tell me more about this king of cups and this king of swords <sighs> yeah i i have a lot of respect for this king of cups i'm gonna be completely honest because whoever this king of cups is this is somebody who clearly knows of you cancer like they, there's no way that they fucking don't know of you they want to kind of get this off their conscience pretty much because it's been eating at them. It's definitely been eating at them. And once they do tell you, granted, it's going to make them feel a lot better because it's making them feel like, you know what, they're doing the right thing. More of the story. They're definitely doing the right thing by somebody who clearly deserves that. Because they're looking at you like you clearly deserve to know what the fuck is going on behind your back. More of the story, right? This King of Swords is fucking quiet and I don't like it. <laughs> Cause I feel like this King of Swords is like, I, I feel like I'm picking up mainly on like the King of Cups and you, but this King of Swords, man, not even a peep from them. Tell me more about this King of Swords. want to say that this king of cups ratted on them i don't know maybe that's how they talk i don't know but anyways i don't talk like that all right we have the ten of swords with the world and what do you know the ace of swords the sword of truth and then we have the world with the ten and then we got the ten of wands yeah the truth is coming out the truth is coming out it's coming out and I kind of feel like this King of Cups doesn't know what. Not the King of Cups. The King of Swords doesn't know what the fuck to do. They don't know what the fuck to do. They don't. They don't. I feel like this, this King of Swords is, is really hurt by this King of Cups. Because they weren't expecting this King of Cups to rat on. I keep wanting to say rat on them. I don't like saying that. They, they never anticipated and are expected for this King of Cups to turn on them. They never thought that they would. And the fact that they're doing it, oh, well, it hurts like a motherfucker. It hurts like a motherfucker. But not only that, it's like, not only, not only is this person losing you in the fucking process, but they're hurt because this King of Cups like turned on them. I feel like this King of Swords thought that this King of Cups would at least, you know, have their back. You know what I mean? But mm -mm. They're on their own, dude. They're definitely on their own. What a reading, dude. This is kind of like something out of like a telenovela, man. Yeah. I just want to look at the sword of truth. Can we just do that and then like hurry up and end this? Because I'm not trying to, you know, I know you guys have things to do. You know what I mean? Y'all got things to do. Tell me more about the uh, ace of swords. They know they fucked up. Nine of, nine of wands they know they fucked up and the and the shit is and you you're gonna know because for some of you you're just holding off on like confronting this person and shit like that because well what if it's not true what if they're lying you're gonna know that it's the truth i'm gonna tell you why you're gonna know that it's the truth because they don't got shit to say they don't have shit to say they don't have nothing to say absolutely nothing nothing to say look at that it's like, fuck, the truth is out. Now I have no choice but to just leave this behind. This being the relationship that they share with you. Because again, it's like, the truth is the truth, right? The truth is the truth, you know? They got caught. They got caught. Anyways, what actions? Let me shuffle this, let me shuffle this real quick.
What action do Cancer take towards this person or moving forward? Mm-hmm. Yep. This is you just sitting with all of this info that you just received from the King of Cups, and it's about to go down. Like, you're not going to sit here and bite down on your tongue. You're not. And I kind of feel like once you confront this King of Swords of yours, shit's going to go left. It's going to go left. Oh, it's going to go left. And you're going to know that it's the truth because of their reaction to it. They're going to just, they're, they're going to find themselves in a bit of a pickle because it's not like they can sit here and justify shit. You know, they just can't. They just can't sit here and justify like their behavior or their actions within this dynamic that they share with you. They can't. So what are they going to do? They're just going to get up and go because they can't sit here and justify it because they just got caught. So they're just going to kind of up and leave cancer to be completely honest. And it's going to hurt like hell. Don't get me wrong. The pain will be felt besides the point because not only are they losing you in the process, they're losing this king of cups. And I feel like this king of cups is somebody that they're clearly close to because it's hurting them. But yeah, it's it's coming out. It's coming out. What actions? What actions will this King of Swords take towards Cancer? This person, like I said, they're gonna they're gonna come back around your way. That's kind of besides the point here. Um, and try to like reconcile with you, but mm, I don't feel like you want to. I don't feel like you want to. It kind of looks like you're good on that. Uh, this is trying. This is kind of like the the true epitome of cutting away the things that don't necessarily serve your highest good. In the Santa Muerte tarot deck, the Two of Swords is basically the scissors, right? This is you cutting away the shit that doesn't necessarily serve your highest good. This King of Swords being included. Bam. They're gonna they're gonna come back around your way. That's besides the point. It's gonna happen, but I think you're done. I think you're done, my friend. All right. There is that double confirmation that this person will be resurfacing back into your life. Like, granted, when things hit the fan, I see this person leaving. I see this person leaving, and they're not going to say shit to you because they know damn well that they're in the wrong, right? They know damn well that they're in the wrong, right? But I feel like this person is going to come back around your way. With worth waiting for, it's very similar to like the Four of Pentacles in Tarot. For me anyways, as a reader, that's that gripping energy. This person refuses to let you and the relationship that they share with you go. And they're going to try to come in and honestly make amends, you know? There's a lot of regret coming in with this person in particular. There is. I, there is. I'm not going to take that away from them. There is a lot of regret that is attached to this person, but... I don't really think you give a shit, to be honest, Cancer, if I'm being completely real. I don't think you care. I don't. But they're going to really try to make things right with you. Like, they really, really are. They're going to try to make things right with you, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to. I don't think you really care, to be honest. So then there's that, Cancer. What a reading, man. All right? Keep in mind, Cancer, this could be someone that you know that's going through this. And they might be coming to you telling you what the hell's going on. So keep that in mind. You don't have to be the one personally experiencing this. Um, but for those of you um, who are, unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. I'm sorry. But keep in mind that it does not have to be you. I almost kind of want to throw that out there because I don't want anybody to panic and or freak out. This could very well just be a friend gravitating towards you, informing you about all this. Because this is somebody right now who's stuck. Like, they don't know whether to go left or to go right. They don't know what the fuck to do right now. So they could be gravitating towards you, Cancer, for a little bit of help and guidance on how to even approach this whole entire situation. So keep that in mind. It could be a family member or a friend gravitating towards you and telling you what their significant other put them through or did to them, and they don't know what the hell to do about it. Or this could unfortunately be you, Cancer. So just keep that in mind, all right? Um, but other than that, Cancer, that's what I have for you. For those of you who do want to follow me on social media, my Instagram is Milagros Tarot. No numbers, no underscores. Just Milagros Tarot for those of you who do want to follow me on there. But other than that, Cancer, hopefully this reading brings a lot of insight to you and a lot of clarity. Keep in mind, it does not have to be you. It could be somebody that you're energetically attached to, like a family member or a friend, all right? Um, but yeah, that's what I have. So I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye.